Yo, what's going on guys? It is Dot here and welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get a mod menu for content warning the game. Yes, you heard that correctly. I'm going to show you guys how to get a mod menu for content warning. So all you want to do first is make sure you go down in the description down below. Whenever you go down in the description down below, you want to make sure you join my Discord server. Whenever you subscribe to my channel, all you have to do is click on proof of subs and then from here just go ahead and show proof that you subscribe to my channel or like the video and then from there i will give you a role called the subscriber role as you guys can see right here now whenever you guys get the role you guys will see in the subscriber chat all of the dev commands that you guys can use for the mod menu within content warning all right so let's go ahead and get right into this so first Make sure you have the game content warning. Then from here, type in Thunder Store. You want to click on this one right here, as you guys can see. From here, you want to go ahead and get the app. Make sure you guys download it. Whenever you guys get the app and download it, you guys will need to make an account. Whenever you make an account, it will look something like this. Now from here, what you want to do is go up here to the top left. And you want to hit Select Game. Or anything that says select game at all so you want to click on select profile which is my profile now from here all you need to do is go to get mods but I'm gonna go ahead and save you guys some time now another thing that I need to mention is that sometimes the menu or the mods need an update so you need to just hit update and make sure they update and then from there boom they have updated but anyways, you guys want to make sure you search. So whenever you guys want to get mods, you, you just want to go to get mods, right? That's where you want to go. You just want to click on get mods. But for this, you guys want to make sure you have what I have. I have content settings, public hosting fix. I have paste from clipboard, better sprint. Basically, it's better sprint. You know, it makes you sprint better. Unlimited stats, you know, whatever like that. We also have camera FPS changer. You don't really need this, but I, I like it because it has better FPS. You also need to get detour content dispose fix. This is basically patchers, monotones, whatever it needs. You need to make sure you get auto hook gen patcher. So make sure you guys are actually downloading these things so that way you can use them within content warning. Skip intro. Obviously the intro is annoying, so make sure you guys download this. Make sure you guys download longer sprint, infinite health. This is what's going to cause you to run faster than most of your teammates or random players. Infinite auction. You can breed forever. You can run forever. Download this as well. It's also a bonus. So make sure you guys download infinite stamina. Looks just like this. More spooker video views. Um, this is basically like um, you get more views on the video or whatever you guys made. You know what you guys recorded. From here, you want to download a uh, type mod. This will allow you to also use the mod as well. From here, you want to download self revive. Basically, this is so you can revive yourself after you die. You have free emotes. This is kind of cool. You can flex to your friends and say, hey, I'm a dev or hey, I'm a modder. Check this out. And you can just actually go and order um, stuff from you know the emote section for free. You want to make sure you download video converter. So it's kind of like faster. So that way, once you recorded your video, you can just do something in game and boom, you don't have to wait to get the disc. Um, Cotton 4K, this is basically where it just makes the resolution better for the camera. So if you guys are wondering, and then Unity Explorer is going to be the last thing that you guys need. Now, all you need to do from here, once you downloaded all that and you finally have Thunder Store, click on Modded. From here, it's going to launch something up that looks just like this. And it's actually injecting all those mods into your game. Now, whenever you guys are in the game, it's going to show this. If you selected everything that I have, you want to go ahead and hit minimize, 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 and then click on F7. From here, you want to click on play with friends. If you want to test the mods out for yourself, you can. So it's going to be hosting the game and from here it's going to put random people into the game 
Don't worry. So as you guys can see, you want to make sure you click that squiggly button on the top left of your screen. I will also put that in the comments if you guys don't know for the mod menu. So about that thing I told you guys about my Discord, make sure you guys join the Discord and then from there, like I said, you need to subscribe, show proof, and then I'll give you guys um, access to the role. So that way you guys can also use this if you want to. Now from here, all you have to do is press that squiggly line again. And let's say you want to spawn a monster. So you're going to type in monster spawner dot spawn monster. And then let's say you want to spawn a uh, ghost. Right? Let's say you want to spawn a ghost. So as you can see, that happens. But don't worry, you press that squiggly line again. And as you guys can see, it spawned the ghost within the game. So if you want to do this unlimited amount of times, you can. So all you have to do is press that squiggly line. It's right there by the exclamation mark and the one at the top um, left of your keyboard. You want to make sure you press that. And then from here, you want to hit up on the arrow on your keyboard. So that way you don't have to retype that all over again. So from here, let's say you want to spawn a... Um, Let's say you want to spawn a boss. So what you're going to do is you're actually just going to uh, uh, delete all of this. Type in TC dot slap. And that's a boss, as you guys can see. And there's a lot of things you can actually spawn within the game. You can actually revive yourself. All you have to do is just press K on your keyboard. As you guys can see, you die. You can spectate other players, you can press K again, and what will happen is it will bring you guys back to life. And one last thing before I end the video, let's say you guys want to share cameras and flares to your friends. All you want to do is press that squiggly line again, type in item dot spawn item dot or actually not dot, you want to hit space. And then from here you want to type in, you know, camera, as you guys can see. So C-A-M-E-R-A. -E and then if you want to spawn a flare, you just hit up on the uh, arrow on your keyboard. From here, make sure you delete and then type in uh, flare. So F-L-A-R-E, enter. And then let's just say you want to spawn multiple of these. It doesn't matter what you guys do because as you guys can see, if you hit up on your keyboard um, arrow, and just backspace it all. You can see what you can all spawn in. Boom, stick, camera, camera broken, clapper, defibrillator. I can't say that right, I'm sorry. Disc, you know, you guys can just spawn so much stuff in. So you guys are so much welcome for this. And as you guys can tell, there's no um, really good tutorials out there. I forgot to mention, I'm very sorry, but if you guys want to stay updated with the mods just in case they're not working, make sure you guys join this Discord as well. It's called Content Warning, and it's a modding uh, community for the game. And what they do is they actually update everything, um, and they also have mod menu releases, and they have all the information and detail, so that way you guys can keep up track with these mods, and just know that if something don't work, 9 times out of 10, they're going to get updated. And to make sure that they get updated, like I said, go back to uh, this application, which is going to be Thunder store and as you guys can see if there's anything that you have like that you downloaded previously as a mod you just want to make sure you update it and normally there will be an update thing here and you just click on it as you guys could see in the video that I did anyway guys my name is T Dodd and I am out peace to get to you.